Today we are going to learn how to make Scooter's special vegan nutball pasta. 15 minutes, stove to plate, all organic, all vegan, all delicious. The first thing you do is pour yourself a glass of wine in a frozen glass. Today we're drinking Petoskey Winery Chardonnay Cider. Mmm, delish. Secondly, Get your water boiling, because while it's boiling, you're going to prepare everything else. Hello? Oh my goodness! Oh, there it goes! Woo! Almost lit my arm on fire. Now, you've got your water boiling. You want to put a little bit of salt and a little bit of oil inside. Woo! Delicious. This oil from Spain, not Italy. Now we've got, as you can see here, we've got fresh celery, fresh onion, fresh portobello mushroom, and fresh garlic. We're gonna cut that up right now. Fresh onion. Ooh, red onion. Very good. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, bellissimo, bellissimo. Fresh garlic. Ooh, fresh garlic. Nice. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, fresh garlic. Nice. Woohoo. Bellissimo. Portobello mushroom. Hello. Look at ooh nice okay very nice now we got our celery we're gonna slice it down the middle like that so we got nice little pieces and one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen sixteen seven eight ooh nice all right let's keep going here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve get this all got a good nice and good oh that's a beautiful delicious ooh just so everyone knows we're using a beautiful Hinkle freshly sharpened Hinkle German technology nice. Very nice, beautiful, very nice, very nice, okay. We've got our beautiful skillet, our iron pan, already oiled, ready to go. As soon as that water boils, we're going to pour in our pasta. Here we have the homemade fresh nut balls, Scooter's special nut balls, made from ground pumpkin seed and ground navy beans and ground black beans and a little bit of portobello mushroom and they are delicious. I keep them frozen just for such an occasion. Delicious. On the side here, if you can see, we have a little bit of fresh greens, arugula. Nice. That we're going to use as kind of a wilted garnish. Now, we're using a sprouted grain, vegan, whole organic, corn and quinoa pasta, delicious. Our water is boiling. We're gonna pour about half of this into the pot. We're gonna leave it whole, bend it into the water, beautiful. We'll take our knife and we'll bend it into the pot. Beautiful, we will set our timer for nine minutes. Because again, El Dante, ingredients ready to go. As soon as the pasta's boiled, we're gonna fry it in the pan. Oh, beautiful, our pasta is done. Fantastic, it's got a beautiful orange yellow color from the corn and the starches. We're gonna drain that out. But we are not going to rinse our pasta. Again, al dente. We're going to let it continue to cook. We don't want it cold from cold water rinse. So we're going to pour this out. And then we're going to put it right back in the pan. Perfect. Beautiful. Now that our skillet is hot, we can now start adding our ingredients. First, we're going to put the frozen nut balls in. Fantastic. Now we're going to grab Grammy Vaughn's Big Spoon. I've been hit more than once with this spoon. Now we're going to brown these nut balls, as you can see. Oh, delicious. Let's coat them with oil, roll them around 
little bit. Oh, yeah. Let's coat those boys. Beautiful. Ooh, nice. Now, we're going to let those heat up a little bit before we add our other ingredients. However, because the celery tends to be a little more fibrous, we're going to throw that in too and give it a little more cooking time. Cuisinart, $9.99, Bed Bath & Beyond. Oh, listen to that sizzle, just beautiful. Just beautiful. Okay, we're entering the home stretch. Here we go. Now, we're going to season it here with a little salt and pepper. We've got some nice peppercorns here, beautiful. Let's get that nice and peppery, yeah, let's do it. Oh yeah, ooh, look at that. Nice and peppery, woo. Yes, we like our pepper. And then we've got some beautiful Himalayan pink salt cut from the salt mines of Afghanistan, humped over mule through the Himalayas into Pakistan and into my kitchen. Stainless steel salt grinder from Bed Bath & Beyond, $29.99 for the pair. Gotta have it on the island, very humid here. All right, we're gonna add our onions. Ooh, beautiful, look at that, just beautiful. We're gonna add our freshly chopped garlic. Ooh, fantastic. Mmm, garlic. That's for Lolo. Our mushrooms, oh, beautiful, just beautiful. Now we're gonna in there. Oh, listen to that beautiful sizzle. Ooh, that is beautiful. And oh, those nut bowls are browning up nicely. Let's get some light on the subject. Oh, look at that. But now, we're going to let you in on the secret of all secrets. This is the Maymac Urban Spice, fresh from the north shore of Anchor Bay in Fairhaven, Michigan. It has cumin and turmeric and dill and onion and garlic and other spice and it gives it a nice beautiful orange yellow burnt umber amber tinge just beautiful look at that oh and the flavors can you smell that oh can you smell oh oh fabby you don't want to put your greens or your pasta in before the onions have started to caramelize Fantastic. Ooh, a little splash on the floor. Okay, we're in the home stretch now. Giada can kiss my ass. We've got our pan nice and hot. We're going to add our pasta. Oh, wow, nice and sticky from all the starches. Beautiful. We're going to add our greens. We're going to add our wilted arugula, spinach, and we're going to let this cook up real nice. Oh, can you see that? Oh, is that not fantastic? Oh, look, would you look at that? Oh, just look at that. Oh, we can see the finish line now. Our last little order of business is to get a nice wide plate, some vegan butter spread, and some veganaise sriracha sauce. Oh, my goodness, I can taste it already. A thing of beauty. Look at that. Oh, those nut balls. I just can't wait to put them in my mouth. We take our butter, we put our butter on top, and now we take our veganaise sriracha sauce and we just let it slide around the outside. Just beautiful. Just let it garnish the plate. And whenever you want a little heat with a little spoonful, you just reach up and take a little bit off the edge of the plate. 